Ever run into that situation where you've got a remote control that some of the buttons don't work and I'm referring to the remotes that have the rubberized buttons on them. They are a constant source of aggravation for people because some of the buttons sometimes just wear out and usually they can be fixed very easily. I'll show you how to open one of these things up and how to get these buttons working again. This is an old Samsung TV remote but uh, all remote controls are pretty much the same. This was in a set that was given to me that I fixed up a while back, that DLP set that the uh, color wheel was shot on and I'm going to get rid of that set and um, the remote has some of the buttons that don't work volume doesn't work and the power button doesn't work all the rest of the, all the rest of the ones all the buttons do but these ones here have worn down so we're going to um, open this remote up and see if we can fix the buttons that are not working now this applies to pretty much any remote control because all of these remotes are built the same way. They use a rubber keypad with the carbon pads on it that press down on the circuit board and they wear out or more often than not get dirty. So to open these up we remove one or more screws that hold them together. Most of them just have one screw. And then the unit itself should pop apart. You gotta work the little clips apart, those little clips that hold the unit together. remote comes apart just like that and what I'm interested in cleaning up is the uh, the rubber pads here the rubber pads get contaminated so do the little rubber pad or the carbon spots on the board here so we're just going to clean that off with some uh, contact cleaner a non-residue contact cleaner and uh, see if that will make the buttons work on this remote so that when I give the TV away I can give away the original remote with it I think my camera was out of focus there when I did this, so we'll redo it again just for the camera. I'm going to use HFE. I just noticed that the picture wasn't quite sharp, so maybe the focus was out. HFE cleaner. We're just going to spray the HFE cleaner onto a Q-tip. We're going to go over and clean all of the rubber pads. And clean the circuit board. Now put the unit back together. We'll set the circuit board back in place. Something that also quite often fails on these remote controls is the little ceramic oscillator. If it doesn't work at all and there's no output, suspect that the ceramic oscillator has failed, which is quite a common failure on remote controls. The window fits in only one way. remote control snaps back together just like that and now the moment of truth we'll put the batteries back in and see if the buttons now work there you go the buttons that didn't work now work fine all the buttons now work There, this remote control is now repaired. That's how you fix a remote control that some of the buttons have stopped working on. When I worked in the business, I don't think I fixed any remotes ever. But one of the guys did. 
and we made a lot of money fixing remotes he would go through and fix upwards of 10 to 20 remotes every day and charge typically 20 bucks because a new remote control was 50 or 60 or 70 dollars to order a new Sony most of them were Sony remotes because we were a big Sony dealer but most of these original remote controls cost a lot of money <clears throat> now you gotta remember back in those days everything was still analog so not everybody had a cable box and had a separate remote control for their cable box most people the vast majority of people back in the cable TV days when everything was analog used their original remote control these days, most people don't use the factory original remote. They use the remote that comes with their cable company's box unless they're receiving programming off air. But we used to repair a lot. As I say, he used to fix upwards of 10 to sometimes 15 or 20 in a day. He wouldn't do it every single day, but the remotes would sit there and they'd come in, right? And then he'd fix them up. Usually when he got half a dozen or so, he'd fix them up. But uh, it was a lot, a lot of remotes that uh, he would just sit there because he'd come into the back to one of the one of the benches and just start taking remotes apart. He'd come in with a box in and start taking remotes apart and cleaning them and putting them back together. And uh, I didn't have time to do that. I was too busy with other stuff. Anyway, that's how you fix a remote control. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real quick. Bye for now.